thank you for watching over me last night, Lord. And thank you for this day of life you've given me today. And Lord, I offer it back to you as my gift to you for your will and your service to be done in my life today. And I ask this in Jesus' name. I also lift up my brother Anthony, his wife Rhonda, and all their family members. Uh, Mark and Gail, hope they have a safe vacation, and all their family members. My new friend Mel and all his family. Uh, all the people, Judy and I, and all our family members. And all the people uh, in, uh, that you've created in this world, all the people I've known throughout my life. And you've had my life touch many, many, many souls. And uh, some good touch, some bad touch. But uh, correct all. And only you <laughs> can do that. And I ask this. And I ask for a blessing on all these folks. And all your children throughout the world. And that's just in Jesus' name. It's a big one, Lord, but uh, for you, nothing's too big. And you like it when we ask big things. Uh, you know, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, thanks for being in my life. <laughs> the more yesterday was a, a great day. Uh, I'm going to get up to uh, AC Moore today. Was when I was checking out with the shirts, that girl says, uh, she liked it, oh, you make the shirts, you know, oh, and I asked her, she wanted it, yeah. And, uh, well, you know, you were there, but, but uh, I made the shirt, we're going to get back up today, you're going to go with me, and uh, thanks for pointing out which shirt I should have done first, which was that one. And then uh, I'm looking forward to today, which shirt I'm doing it. <laughs> I had the white shirt done for Michael up at the park, so maybe we'll meet him soon. And I'll be able to give that to him. Um, okay, I'm going to read some inspiration. And uh, help me read this one, Lord. And um, you read it to, uh, well, you gave it to uh, Sarah Young back, I don't know the year this was all done, but uh, it doesn't matter. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. So, <laughs> whatever day. But this, uh, this entry is on July 22nd, anyway. And it says, Find freedom through seeking to please me above all else. All else we got to please. And he loves us. And in this book, he tells you different ways, the things that please him. So those are the things we can hone in on and say, let's, let's make that a real part of our lives. And then we know when we're doing those things that we're going to be pleasing Him. You can have only one master. When you let others' expectations drive you, you scatter your energy to the winds. Your own desire to look good can also drain your energy. I am your master, and I do not drive you to be what you are not. Your pretense displeases me, especially when it is in my service. Concentrate on staying close to me at all times. It is impossible to be inauthentic while you are focusing on my presence. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And some Bible passages that support this are from Ephesians 5, verse 8 through 10, Matthew 23, verse 8, and Matthew 6, verse 1. If you want to lift those up, that'll uh, support what this was, what was written here. And uh, but this lady, Sarah Young, was sitting with the Lord, and the Lord Spirit's in us. It's outside us. He's walking along with us. We can hold hands. We can, he goes before us to clear the path. Uh, and most of us, we don't even understand or see because he's. In a different realm. He's in this realm, but he's also in another realm, a realm we cannot see, the unseen realm. <coughs> and uh, so, some great inspiration this morning. These are, so, I, I just read them. And I don't worry about the dates. I've already read almost the whole book. <laughs> 
because days really with the Lord are do we you know man has put a, a time and a date on everything but the Lord I don't think you know he's the same yesterday today and for eternity so when he was walking the earth he was one way today he's the same way hasn't changed the Lord is never changing he's always the same he wants us to seek his face in all things all things think about that all things everything everything that goes on in your life today in my life today in everyone's life today. He is in each and every one. Good, bad, all of it. <laughs> so, you ain't got no place to hide, folks. <laughs> There's no place to hide. You wouldn't want to hide. You don't want to hide from the Lord. You want to come with him, come into his presence. He learns, look, and I'm, I'm really messed up right now. Or maybe you got an alcohol problem. Maybe you got a drug problem, maybe you got this problem, or that problem, um, whatever problem you got, okay? And that doesn't mean, it, you know, I mean, if he, if he touched you and took your problem away, great, you know? But he'll probably use your problem to, to, to help make you a better thing, and there's something good out of bad. I know, I, I can feel that in my life, and he, uh, you end up, you, you can't thank him enough, you know. Every step you take today, and think about it, the Lord's with you. If you really believe that, then <laughs> your day's going to be, it doesn't mean your day's going to be like totally peaceful on the outside, but it definitely will be totally peaceful on the inside. And I don't care what happens to you. I don't care if somebody comes up and shoots you with a gun. Okay? It wouldn't be a pleasant thing to happen. But if you're with the Lord and you really know you're with the Lord, then offer it up to Him. Say, Lord, I'll suffer this for you. You suffer for us. Oh. Bells go off in heaven when that happens. It doesn't have to be that dramatic, you know, a thing. I think the Lord loves us. You know, maybe we're not following the Lord. We put ourselves in situations where that might happen. But when you really get close to the Lord, He's got an army of people looking out for you. Okay? doesn't mean that bad things aren't going to happen. But uh, He can avoid a lot of the major bad things. He knows what you, can, what you yourself can stand. So He's going to keep it within the realms of that. Because he loves us. He is pure love. No condemnation. He loves everything about us. He loves us. Well, maybe not everything about us. But the things he doesn't love about us, he'll help us change. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So it's up to him. Get out of yourself. Get away from yourself. You're your own worst enemy. Okay? I'm my own worst enemy. And our greatest friend above all on earth, including our own family, is Jesus. That's it. He came down here to show us and teach us that. Praise God. And thank you for doing that. Because without it, we would all be, we would be in super deep, deep good now. Yeah. Okay, well, look, I'm going to put this up on the internet, and uh, Brother Anthony, get this book, brother, I'm telling you, <laughs> yeah, you would like this book, brother, yeah, it, it really, yeah, yeah, just say that, Anthony, you, you would love this book, brother. Um, yeah, I found it at Walmart, well, I didn't find it. I found it at Walmart, but the Lord guided me there too. So it was twelve, twelve ninety nine, or something like that. It was not that expensive. They make a bigger copy too, a nice one, a little, you know, bigger. I don't know if it's large print or whatnot, but 
you know, the only weak guy like me. <laughs> but you know what? When you're with the Lord, I, I just don't feel that age thing. I know it's there, and I'm getting older. I can look in the mirror and see my, you know, self getting older. But inside, I'm a kid. <laughs> I'm still a kid. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, on that one. Huh? Okay. Um, I keep trying to get off, but I, when talking about Jesus, I could talk about him. And not to tell you, because he can tell you. I don't have to explain anything to you. Big thing is go to him. He's the one that needs to teach you, not me. I can point you there. Go here. That's where you need to go. <laughs> but you got to go to him. He's the one. He is the one. Praise Jesus. All right. Uh, Lord, everybody have a great day. Lord, I say it every day, and I'm going to say it every day. Thanks for being in my life. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus.